cars, 20 laps, what else could happen? Nichols looking for a record, and we are green for 20 laps. Nichols knows how important it is to get to the lead. He's going to take a two-car length lead over Sullivan, but Mighty Mouse is catching him. Boyd going side by side. Oh, Donnie Ashford around on the back stretch into Jarvis, and they all keep going forward. How about that? Skillful driving from everyone involved in that one. Boyd losing third to Mullins, but Nichols comfortably out front. Here comes Jason Gamble now. Oh, Mullins loses the right rear. Oh, heartbreak. Oh, it's off the wall. So the caution is out, and both of our championship contenders have lost a wheel some point during the night. Appleby lost his in the heat race, and Mullins loses his in the feature. All year long. 18 to go. It's Nichols and Sullivan, your front row. Back to green. The battle for second is on now. Joe Boyd to the inside of James Sullivan, the third. Jason Gamble holding on to fourth. He's going to try the outside. Can't make it stick. Now they're going to go three wide for second. Joe Boyd able to take it there. Oh, my. Sullivan and Gamble. Contact. But they're able to keep going. Gamble up to third over Sullivan. Now he must work on Joe Boyd. Oh, Sullivan off the track. Oh, and it gets worse for the Cheetah Racing boys. Smoke out of the 28H of Harless. Sweet Feet is pulling away. Donnie Ashford up to sixth in that 3W. Oh, but he gets turned by Elwood. Oh, up the track they go. John Thorpe into him. Jonathan Appleby stops. Boy, bear with problems as well. Take a look at this, Jimmy. He talked about Donnie Ashford returning to Bubba Raceway Park. He's been gone for 10 years out of the dirt. He developed a very fast relationship over the last 24 hours with the Woodalls, and of course, Woody has put him in the 3W car tonight. And Duff DJ Horisky, Ryan Lasick, Tony Campbell, Brandon Elwood, Randy Harless, 15 to go, and we're back to green. Gamble had a shot at Joe Boyd, couldn't make it stick. Donnie Ashford gets washed up the track there. He's going to lose a few spots on that one. Nichols again pulling out to a solid lead. A battle of the 33s now for the ninth position. Smoke now out of the 33 of Melvin Fockler. Solid run out of Mike Valdez in fourth. Up front, it's still Shane Nichols. Oh, contact, Fockler and Dobbins. Donnie Dobbins able to hold the 33. A little bit of contact to Melvin Fockler. I did not appreciate that. Joe Boyd reeling Nichols in now. So is Jason Gamble. Lap traffic may play into this one. And it does. Nichols gets slowed up by Randy Harless. Caution is out. Jonathan Appleby has lost a wheel. 
That is the right rear from the 69, Jimmy, as it goes reeling onto the back straightaway. The right rear, same as his championship contender, Brian Mullins. Brian shrunk to the pits, Melvin Fockler to the pits. Donnie Duffy. Oh. Joe Boyd looks to end that streak, as does Jason Gamble. It's all to play for, 11 to go. Donnie Dobbins stopped on the backstretch. We're back to green. And the caution absolutely has to come out as we have a stopped race car on the back stretch. Back on the back straightaway, so he is being motioned into the pit area. Race officials will talk to him about it. And unfortunate for Donnie Dobbins, who is definitely chasing that rough luck award for 2012. So Dobbins does exit the track in turn number two. He'll take to the infield. And becomes the fifth driver to end his night early. All right, let's see if we can get some youth in Coors Light Winter Circle. 11 to go, and the green flag is back in the air. Better restart that time for second and third place. But there Nichols goes out of turn two. That is where the magic has happened for Sweet Feet. Second place, gamble to the outside of Joe Boyd. Here we go. Able to hold it. Let's see what Gamble can do. He's got to run. But he's going to wash up there. Joe Boyd able to clear him for second. Gamble fighting back on the outside. Nichols coming back to him. Here goes Boyd and Gamble. There's a blister on the 65 because he looks vulnerable. Oh, but the caution is out for Debris in turn number one. What well, is quite a bit of debris as well, Jimmy, as we survey the field that's going that knows how to get there can he get around shane nichols green flag back in the air and the battle for third is on valdez and boyd jason gamble to the outside of sweet feet for the lead while valdez is inside of boyd for third jason gamble with a run on the outside goes outside nichols not able to block Nichols gonna try to slap the outside, can't do it. Holding strong, Joe Boyd holds on to third. But this one looks like Jason Gamble is gonna try to end the streak now. Jason Gamble is clear of Shane Nichols. Number five looks like it may not happen after all. Jason Gamble saying it's my track, boys. And he holds on to the lead. Six laps to go. Brian Shrunk and Melvin Fogler, a great battle for 11. Nichols reeling Gamble back in. But passing's a completely different animal. Five to go. Oh, Tony Campbell and Ryan Lasik go around in turn four. Lasik able to refire, and the caution comes out with five to go, top five. He knows what it feels like to lead and not win. Jimmy, this will be the final attempt at a restart. We'll go the distance if they can stay, but the next flag, it'll be over. The bell is already rung. Here we go. Can Jason Gamble stop the streak? It's gonna take some work. He's gonna slip up, Nichols has a run. Two Ocala boys fighting it out. 
Gamble washing up. Is he going to drive it hard? Oh! Donnie Ashford around on the backstretch. Nichols is the leader at the line. Oh, my. How is that one going to be scored? They'll start side by side, deep in the pack. We're going back to green. Kilbury with a little mistake there. Dean Jarvis is going to hold on to the 93. How about that? Horisky going to go the inside now. Here we go. Nichols has a run on the inside. Gamble on the outside. To the white flag they go. Gamble the leader. Everyone has crossed the line. The leaders will be the next ones across. Nichols to the inside of Gamble. History in the making. Is it going to happen? He's going to have a run. Is he going to clear him? At the line. The win. Two. I don't know. That looked like a tie. Melvin Fogler has stopped at the, ex at the entrance to turn three. I will tell you, Joe Boyd is third. Mike Valdez fourth. Ricky Kilbury a top five. How about that? Dean Jarvis, DJ Horisky, Brian Shrunk, Ryan Lasick, and it looks like Melvin Fockler. So Fockler, the right front is broken. All right, Jimmy, hold on. Jimmy, hold on a second. This was a photo finish. This was a photo right at the flag stand. Bubba's talking to both of these drivers right now. He is proposing a match race, three car, sh three lap shootout rather, with the 21 and 65. He's talking to both of these drivers. What do you guys think about that? It is an absolute photo finish. This is the way to settle it. Bubba is communicating with the 21 and 65 right now, and he is proposing a three lap shootout. The winner will receive an extra 50 bucks. He's cutting the deal right now. three lap deal they're going to be waving to you folks send them off this is jason gamble in the 21 and shane nichols in the 65. i'll tell you what a few years ago jason gamble was part of a tie race this time they're not going to finish that way they're going to do a tiebreaker one mile around this track that's three laps that's all they get shane nichols looking for a record fifth in a row jason gamble Trying to get back right here in Coors Light Winter Circle. This is going to be one heck of a finish. Sweet feet on the bottom, Jimmy, and the professor's protege on the top. Jason Gamble. Florida Gilles. boys. Everyone cheering, and we're back to green. Nichols using that low line. He's a bottom feeder. Jason Gamble, not so much. Nichols has the lead right now, but Gamble's fighting back on the back. They're both driving extremely hard into turn three. Looks like Gamble's going to have to run out of the corner. Almost makes contact. Boy, look at White that. flag is out for Jason Gamble. One more time, and he just served notice in turn number four, Jimmy, that he was going to be the one. And Shane Nichols once again behind the Shane eight ball, Nichols. two car links in the rears. Jason Gamble saying, this is my track, boys. Here we go. Nichols to the inside again. Not enough. Jason Gamble is the winner. And the Big Sun Auto Salvage, TNT Auto Works number 21. There will not be a record fifth in a row. Jason Gamble coming right here to Coors Light Winner's Circle for the second time in 2012. And the first time under the new banner of TNT Auto Works.
Jason Gimlet's team owner, Eddie Tillander, on the track. I don't know why, but a very excited team owner he is. Pulling into winner's circle in the Big Sun Auto Salvage TNT Auto Works number 21. He has ended Shane Nichols' streak of four in a row. The engine woes are over. Out of the car, it's Jason Gamble, your winner. Jason, this is the second time you have tied someone at this track before. This time we went to a tiebreaker, and you showed him that you are the deserving winner. Yeah, I, I jumped him a little bit on that, but I had to go for it. I figured, because he's so strong off the start, but I had to go for it. But it's just, I love racing Shane. I know we can run bump, side by side, bumper to bumper, and he's just a, a great racer, and I enjoy running with him. You have to do everything you can. I mean, the engine woes all season. It's got to be relieving to get back to victory lane. Yeah, it feels like my first win again. <laughs> Such a wonderful one. And all these guys here, they bust their butt on this car. I'm gone out of town all the time. I don't even hardly get to mess with it that much. So TNT racing, all these guys are awesome. Brando, as part of one of the team owners here with your father, how do you feel seeing Jason get back into victory lane? So excited. It's been a long time. We'll see if you can get it here in a driver soon. Oh, yeah, of course. All right. Jason Gamble, the winner here in victory lane. He has ended Shane Nichols' streak. There will not be history.